Who says you need to shoot video footage in order to practice your video editing skills? In this video, I want to show you how to use stock video footage to create a vision video. I am at peace. I am fulfilled. I am loved. I am love. All is working out in perfect timing. I trust that all of my efforts are contributing to my future success. I feel the touch of a hand on my back gently guiding me where I need to go so that I can fully release control. My life path is effortlessly unfolding before me. I have an abundance of time and space in my week and I only work when I want to. The more I relax, the more financial abundance effortlessly flows towards me. I have a dream team that makes my business fun and easy. Everyone loves what they do and is fully aligned with the impact we make. I feel fully seen, loved, supported, respected, and admired. Life is great. The video that you just watched was my vision video of the life that I'm looking to embody moving forward. So the concept behind this is kind of like a vision board. So if you've cut things out of magazines and put them on a board and hung it up on your wall and were manifesting those things into your life, this is a similar version, but in video form. And while you're creating it, you're going to learn how to edit and how to use stock video footage. So you're building a lot of skills in one and walking away with a vision video that will help you step into the life that you want moving forward. So in this video, I want to walk you through the steps that I personally took to use artgrid.io, which is a stock footage website in order to create the video that you just watched. So we're going to start on Artgrid and move into Premiere Pro. So without further ado, let's hop on the computer. Now I'm not going to focus on writing the script that much just because I want to get to showing you how to edit with stock video footage quicker, but I want to quickly run through this. So what I did is just write out a very quick, simple little blurb here about the life that I want to have moving forward. So you want it to be in say I am often or I, so first person, and you want it to be really positive. You don't want to have anything negative that you want to avoid. So instead of doing that, word the opposite of the thing that you're trying to avoid. So if I was trying to get rid of anxiety, I would say I am at peace, right? Or learning to like trust in perfect timing, not stress out about things not going right. Um, or let's see, I kind of added in like some spiritual components of this, of things that I believe in to fully embody that and just kind of remind myself of it. This one I love, like I have this concept that I need to work really hard in order to make a lot of money and you might have that as well. Well, that's not necessarily the case. That is just a money mindset that we need to overcome. So I included that line in there as well and, you know, just kind of created my own little script. So you can create yours however you would like, but this is my example of how I went about doing it. Once you've created your script, it is time to head over to artgrid.io. So this is a really cool website. It is actually the same website as artlist.io, which is stock music. So copyright free music that you can use in your videos. So you can choose a song from there, hop over to artgrid.io and start choosing clips. So I want to quickly show you how I went about this. So first off, there are collections, and this is where I started my search. So under collections, there are these different, you know, categories, and so you can click into these different categories and see what stands out for, to you. So I went to Powerful Women, and I just started looking at these clips, and whenever you find one that you like, you click this Add to Cart icon. So when you do that, it will create your cart is up here and there's one in there. So you just want to keep going through, like scroll through any of these videos and add to cart as many as you want. And once you kind of get through one collection, you can go back to the other collections, see what else stands out to you. Or alternatively, 
Another thing that you can do is just go to the home page and you can look by people. So there was one point where I talked about love within the video and I wanted to show a couple. So I just went down here and searched by couple. But you could do that, you know, by female, you could do that by race, age, anything like that, which is pretty nice. And once again, you just look for clips that could potentially be good. At this stage, you're not doing anything that's like very particular and figuring out how the clips fit together. That will come later. So at this point, you're just looking at it and you are adding anything to your carts, which it's unlimited downloads, but you're adding it to your cart, anything that might seem like a good fit. So just for example's sake, let me just add a couple more things to my cart so you can see how this works. So we'll just add some random ones in here. I guess we'll do this one. Okay, so once you we have a few, then we'll go over here and we will click this cart icon and it'll say, okay, here's your cart and you can click check out. And when you click check out, it'll give you this and say that it's emailed you. You don't actually have to go to your email to get these clips though. You can just go right here to my footage and look at all of the ones that you have. On this website, you can only download 100 clips per day. So you wanna be particular about the clips that you do end up choosing. You probably won't hit 100 for your vision video. I mean, I would recommend keeping it fairly short, like a minute or so, so that you could really watch it every single day. But you still wanna be kind of picky about the clips that you actually end up downloading. So I wanna walk you through how I did this within Premiere Pro and then how I navigated the download process. So here we are in Premiere Pro in my project file. Obviously the edit is completed, but I wanna take you back to the beginning to kind of walk you step-by-step step through this process. So the first thing that I did was record the voiceover. Now you can see this was a eight minute recording. And what I did was just record it multiple times so that I had options of which one sounds better when I got into the editing. So I just ended up choosing one of the readings and ended up dragging that directly onto the timeline. I didn't do any editing for it in terms of cutting out gaps or anything like that. So having the voiceover recorded first is going to be really helpful because then you can grab clips, try them, and do it, like see if it works, and if not, you can go back and get more clips. Before I keep moving forward, if this video is helpful for you already, be sure to click like, drop a comment below letting me know. I really appreciate it. So when you have only the voiceover in the sequence, it's going to look like this. But the thing that I'd recommend doing next is to grab music so that you can feel the mood that you're going for in your video. So at first I started by getting my music and then went back later and changed my music once I recorded the voiceover. So I'm saving you a couple of steps by doing the voiceover first, then finding your music. And if you need help finding your music, then I will link to a video in the description below that walks through my process for using artlist.io. So when we add the music, it looks like this and you can hear what it's going to sound like, but you don't yet have the clips to go over it. It's going to be a little bit time intensive if you're just going to put the clips at the beginning, search for the clips at the beginning, go back and continue looking for clips every single time. I would recommend listening for the whole thing, kind of getting the visuals in your mind of what you might be looking for, then head back to ArtGrid and grab anything that is most relevant for you at this stage. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if we're listening to this, let's see what it sounds like. I am at peace, I am fulfilled, I am loved, I am love. So I wanted to have four different clips for each of those sections. So I am at peace, I am fulfilled, I am loved, I am love, right? So going back to ArtGrid, we can look through all of the clips that we've added to our cart and just say, okay, which one looks like peace? And then, you know, find that one and actually download it. And the way that you download it is just by clicking you know, you could do HD or you could do ultra high def HQ. It doesn't really matter. I didn't care. I just did HD. So you click the clip and when you are downloading, this is something that I suggest doing. 
So instead of just having one folder where you're going to download all of these files, I recommend downloading in rounds. So you can make a folder for round one and then you can download anything that you wanna download on this first attempt to plug and play things, do it within this folder. Then the next time you go, you can do it in another folder, which makes it a lot easier to know what's been imported into your Premiere project file versus what hasn't. So here is my round one from the first time that I did this. And in order to add these clips to the timeline, what you're going to do is just double click and you can kind of use your playhead to scrub through them to see you know, what the clip is, to see which part you might wanna take. And you're gonna take, you're gonna put an I and an O to select just the part of the clip that you want. That's setting your in point and your out point. So on the keyboard, I, and O, and then you can just grab this here and drag it into your timeline, and you can shorten the clip or lengthen the clip for however long that you want that clip to be. And then you can just keep going down all of the different ones, setting your in and out point, dragging in, into the sequence and seeing how it starts to build together. I am at peace, I am fulfilled, I am loved, so I just obviously dragged random clips into the timeline, but you can, that's, this is where you start to play around. So I wanna to quickly touch upon the creative exploration of this. Don't put pressure on yourself to get it right away. Give yourself space to play with these clips and see what fits and what doesn't fit and move things around and just have fun with it. This is your vision video, so live it up. So you can see here that I ended up doing four different rounds of clips that I downloaded to have the ones that ultimately ended up working. So I went through a lot of clips in order to find the 25 clips that ended up working for this segment. And I could have continued tweaking for this, but it's great to have a deadline. So I had to have a deadline to get this video out to you guys. And so I recommend giving yourself a specific amount of time that you're willing to spend on it, throw the clips in there, they don't have to be perfect, and just export your video and start using it. So there you go, now you know how to use stock video footage, how to edit stock video footage, as well as how to create a vision video. If you would like more videos on how to edit within Premiere Pro, then I will link to a playlist on the screen here and in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.